Kettle of Fish. Scene 2, Enter the Postmaster. Postmaster. Tell me, gentlemen, who's coming? What sort of chinovnik? Governor. What, haven't you heard? Postmaster. I heard something from Bobchinsky, he was just now with me at the post office. Governor. Well, what do you think about it? Postmaster. What do I think about it? Why, there'll be a war with the Turks. Judge. Exactly, that's just what I thought. Governor. Well, you're both white of the Mark 7. Postmaster. It'll be with the Turks, I'm sure. It's all the Frenchmen's doing eight, Governor. Pooh. War with the Turks, indeed. It's we who are going to get into trouble, not the Turks. That's quite certain. I've a letter to say so. Postmaster. Oh, then we shan't go to war with the Turks. Governor. Well, how do you feel, Ivan Kuzmich? To the postmaster. Postmaster. How do I feel? How do you, Anton Antonovich? Governor. I. Well, I'm no coward, but I am just a little uncomfortable. The shopkeepers and townspeople bother me. It seems I'm unpopular with them, but, the Lord knows, if I've blackmailed anybody, I've done it without a trace of ill feeling. I even think, buttonholes him, and takes him aside, I even think there will be some sort of complaint drawn up against me. Why should we have a revizer at all? Look here, Ivan Kuzmich, don't you think you could just slightly open every letter which comes in and goes out of your office, and read it, for the public benefit, you know, to see if it contains any kind of information against me, or only ordinary correspondence. If it is all right, you can seal it up again, or simply deliver the letter opened. Postmaster. Oh, I know that game. Don't teach me that. I do it from pure curiosity, not as a precaution, I'm death on knowing what's going on in the world. And they're very interesting to read, I can tell you. Now and then you come across a love letter, with bits of beautiful language, and so edifying much better than the Moscow news. Governor. Tell me, then, have you read anything about any chinovnik from Petersburg? Postmaster. No, nothing about anyone from Petersburg but plenty about the cost Roma and Saratov nine people. It's a pity you don't read the letters. There's some very fine passages in them. For instance, not long ago a lieutenant writes to a friend, describing a ball in first-rate style splendid. Dear friend, he says, I live in Elysium, heaps of girls, music playing, flags flying, quite a glowing description, quite. I've kept it by me, on purpose. Would you like to read it? Governor. Thanks, there's no time now. But oblige me, Ivan Kuzmich if ever you chance upon a complaint or a denouncement, keep it back, without the slightest compunction. Postmaster. I will, with the greatest pleasure. Judge, who has overheard a little. You had better mind, you'll get into trouble over that some time or other. Postmaster, innocently. Eh. The saints ten forbid. Governor. It was nothing nothing. It would be different if it concerned you or the public but it was a private affair, I assure you. Judge. Hum, some mischief was brewing, I know. But I was going to say, Anton Antonovich, that I had got a puppy to make you a present of own sister to the dog you know about. I dare say you've heard that Cheptavish and Varkhofinsky have gone to law with one another, so now I live in Clover I hunt hares first on one's estate, and then on the others. Governor. I don't care about your hares now, my good friend, I've got that cursed incognito on the brain. I expect the door to be opened, and all of a sudden. <laughs>